Hi and welcome back to our course on SOLIDWORKS for Beginners. In this lecture, we are going to learn how to create different types of ellipses. So let's first select a plane, say top plane. And sketch. Now see this is the ellipse tool. If you click on the drop down icon, you will see four options. Ellipse, partial ellipse, parabola, and conic. First let's select ellipse. Select the first point for the center of the ellipse. The second point will define the length. And the third point will define the breadth. OK. There are four points to control this geometry. Let's assign dimensions. The distance from the top point to the center can be 70 millimeters. And from the side to the center, the distance can be 100 millimeters. If you want to add any relations, you need to select a point in the reference point. Let's take the origin. And click on horizontal. Now they have come to the same level. We can move it horizontally but not along the vertical axis. If you want the center to be on the origin, select both. And click on Coincide. Now, let's see the second option. Partial Ellipse. Here, first you need to select the first two points to create a normal ellipse. The third and fourth points will be the start and end points of the curve. You can drag the start and end points along the elliptical axis. Now let's give it dimensions. The first two dimensions will be the same as the normal ellipse. Then you need to add distance between the start and end point. This is how a partial ellipse is created. Now we will go to the third option, parabola. First point will be the reference point. Second point will decide the direction and the curvature. The third and fourth points will be the start and end points of the curve. Add relations to finish the shape of the curve. Now we will see the fourth type of ellipse, the conic. The first two points are the start and end points of the conic. The third point is a reference point. And the fourth point is the center of the curve. Now let's add dimensions to this conic. And some relations. With this, we have covered all the basic shapes in SOLIDWORKS. From the next lecture, we will start learning about the different sketch operations. Thanks for watching this lecture, see you in the next one.